I would love to kindly thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Thrive Market. More on them in a bit. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. You guys, I'm excited about today's video. I'm gonna take y'all with me. We're gonna do some desperately needed spring cleaning. And then I'm gonna take y'all to the stores with me again. I have some things that I would like to get and get your opinions on. Um, and then we're gonna come back here. We're gonna pull out the rest of our decorations for spring, really get this place like finished up. I'm sure that Josh is sick of seeing my decorations box sitting over by <laughs> the basement all day every day as well as make a resurrection garden since it is Easter time so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the girls as well let's go ahead and get started into this side porch which is an absolute disaster I have a new addition actually two new additions to our home and they belong in this horrific side porch so you guys I told you that I was not going to do anything for this for Christmas or anything this year and that's because it has gotten out of control look at this we've got life jackets and random like swim stuff along with snow boots and snow pants and like literally the range of every outdoor activity thing that could fall in here is in here right now. <laughs> I also have my Moses basket and the rocker that it goes with, and let's see, some bikes, like all kinds of stuff. I think I've just been avoiding it because I don't wanna face it. The time has come, I have to face this. I have to take care of this because we got a new little rug off of Marketplace to put in here. It's actually the same rug that we're gonna be putting in Ivy's room, but it came in two different sizes, so. I also picked up on Marketplace this big, beautiful wardrobe. <laughs> Sorry, could not. I was like, hutch? It's not a hutch. Um, that's going to be going into that room as well. And Josh was so kind to help me pick it up and put it in my car. But y'all, he's not going to be into it if he doesn't have any place to put it inside of our house. <laughs> so I've got to get this cleaned up like literally today. Okay, and last thing, I think I'm going to have to move over this little piece right here under this little shelf right here y'all look how bad this paint job is in here the paint in this room is absolutely terrible so dirty looking but you know that's a project for another time so i think i'm gonna actually have to clear out these chairs and put them somewhere else and honestly the reason why we're bringing in the wardrobe is because we don't have anywhere to hang up our coats or anything like that like there's not really a drop zone in our house from where we enter and so a lot of it just ends up right here and then this looks like a total mess as well which is inside our main living area so the goal of all of this is to get the wardrobe in here get all of the coats and jackets and stuff off of the wall and off of the chairs and off of that wall in there and into a nice space so they can be out of sight.
Okay, y'all, and before I hit the road and take you with me on some errands, I wanted to give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Thrive Market. We live in a small town out in the country. Honestly, like the closest big box store is like 15, 20 minutes away from our house. But the nearest like health food store I don't even know, that's out in Omaha. That's like 30 minutes away for us. And so what I love about Thrive Market is that they deliver right to our door. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Thrive Market, they're an online based grocery store. They're on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable to everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. <laughs> I got these last time. These are grass-fed collagen peptides. And these are great. I put them in coffee. You can't taste them at all. We also ordered some organic honey. Y'all know that I'm a honey girl, right? <laughs> I use honey in everything these days, but especially in my parfaits and I've been trying it in my coffee lately. They also sent us some no dairy buffalo sauce, which I'm not a huge buffalo sauce girl, but my husband loves it and he's also lactose intolerant. So this is perfect for him. And then the last thing is gonna make y'all laugh. You're gonna be like, what the heck is wrong with you, Kristen? I got these well-made Irish sea moss tablets. So hang in there with me. My friend Cassie, she like swears by these things. Okay. She says that she like has not been sick since she's been taking them. And y'all know that I'm just trying to stay healthy over here. So as a Thrive Market member, you will save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you find a better price somewhere else, they'll match it. You will make back your annual $60 membership in savings. And if you don't, then Thrive Market will credit you back the difference. I'll show you a little bit about their website here, but you can filter their catalog of products by diet, by lifestyle, their product types, and your favorite brands. So whether you're like gluten-free or keto, you can shop by over 90 plus diets and values. There's finally a grocery store customized to your needs. So click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Kristen Hoffman to get 30% off of your first order and receive a free gift worth up to $60 by signing up for Thrive Market today. All right, everybody. Well, I am out running errands right now. Um, I actually just went to the OBGYN. I went there to get an ultrasound um, just to check on everything to make sure everything's good. And then I picked up a rug off of Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> uh, okay, so it was $150, which is kind of a lot, but I looked it up. It's literally brand new, brand new. And I'll show you guys here. It, retails right now for six hundred dollars i am going to try it out i think in our living room if it doesn't work then i'm going to put it in our bedroom but either way we've got like a five by seven in our bedroom under our king size bed it looks ridiculous and we need to get a different rug in there so i'm hoping that this one will work out i'm excited to show you i've got a few other places that i've got to hit before we run home and i also made a decision to take back some pillows that I purchased last week or two weeks ago, and I'm gonna bring in some different ones. So I'm gonna show you those as well. Okay, so here are those pillows that I was telling you about. I loved these. These were exactly what I've been looking for. Thankfully, Home Goods had a way better selection of pillows than TJ Maxx did. Honestly, the whole store was like, stocked like i never go into this place and i was really impressed with what they had they had some really beautiful items and lots of pretty pillows to choose from so it was hard to make a choice here then we went over to the library i know i told you guys about this last year but our public library has a seed library and each year you can go through these notebooks here they'll show you all the different types of like vegetables and flowers and you can have 15 seed packets of like local vegetables each year to choose from. So that's always really exciting. Anyway, after that, I came over to Dollar General and I was gonna kind of stock up on some gardening supplies. So you can see here that, you know, if you're not gonna get your seeds for free, the next best thing is four for a dollar. And so 
I thought I would just show you guys the variety that they have over at, sorry, not Dollar General, this is at Dollar Tree. I picked up a couple of other things for a craft that I am thinking about doing here soon. And I'll tell you guys about that in just a little bit. So I figured I would show you guys a little bit of what I picked up at the store today. And also I wanna say that it is Rosie's birthday this week. Um, Thursday is actually the day that she turns eight. And so I wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that I got her before I wind up wrapping these up here, hopefully before she gets home from school. So first of all, bought her a new little pair of jeans. You guys, I never buy new jeans, but it is so hard to find ones that fit her. So we got her this little pair from Target. And then I got her a new notebook, which is something that she's been asking for. It's also something that she does not need. She's got so many notebooks, but she loves to write creative stories and draw pictures and everything. And I love that this one came with this cute little gold pen. And also it matches this little shirt. So these three shirts I actually got from B2B Last Chance in Omaha on one of their half off days. So these were all 50 cents each, but this one is Old Navy, just a cute little tank top. This one is Art Class, which is a Target brand, a little t-shirt, and then another Old Navy kind of Henley tank top. So I think that she is really going to like these. She loves blue and white and denim and all of that. And so I'm excited to get these to her on her birthday. To be honest, we don't really like go all out for birthdays. We usually go get Casey's donuts in the morning and like decorate them with candles. And I've got some leftover streamers from the dollar store. We just decorate with, what is going on back here? Sorry y'all, this looks crazy. But no, we just decorate with stuff that we already have and we really try to make it a big fuss. We play uh, like sixpence, none the richer as the girls walk down the stairs, kind of like a she's all that type vibe, you know. But we make it like a big deal. We blow up balloons, you know. Literally everything that we do is just from the dollar store. I bet you we spend, you know, less than $5 on decorations for their birthday, but they feel so special. I want them to know that they don't need to have like this huge elaborate party and like with all of these expenses to feel loved and celebrated and everything. So I'm really excited to do that this week. Okay, so I went to the dollar store as you guys saw and I cleaned up. First of all, I also went to the library. I got all of these seed packets for free and this year I'm trying some vegetables. I figure I can try them and if I fail, then I fail. You know, we're just gonna plant and pray over here. So I got some onion, peppers, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, kale, cilantro, my favorite, basil, chives, African daisies, these are the flowers. Got some more Cosmos, I don't know why I got Cosmos. I have so many Cosmo seeds from last year. Alyssum, uh, I will say that these are different kinds of Cosmos than the ones that I have and cone flowers. I love cone flowers. So these are all of the ones that I got for free from our library. From the Dollar Tree, I went a little crazy. I just grabbed a new pair of gloves. All of mine have like dirt somehow inside all the gloves. And whenever I use them, it's like all caked inside of my fingernails. I picked up two of these sprayers. These sprayers are $1.25. I got two last year, they both broke, but when they weren't broken, they were like the best sprayers I've had. So I figure, you know, whatever, spend $2.50 on two that will probably break again this year. I got some little starter pots. Lord knows how these are gonna do for me this year. I also got a couple of these little pollinator starter kits. I figured the girls could have fun with these. We did something like this last year and we just kept them up on our windowsill over our kitchen sink and the girls love watching them start to grow. But last year I planted so many cone flowers and not a single one of them showed up. I got one thing of bulbs, it's called gladiolus and I am not familiar with these. These look like hollyhocks. I don't know if it's the same, it might not be, but I got pink ones. And then they had these 
big packs of wildflower blends. I'm probably just gonna put these just around the house. Um, these are shade areas. So I'm gonna put these on the north side of our house. So they have these big packs of seeds. And then I kind of went crazy again with the four for a dollar one. So I got lavender, more alyssum. No poppies came up last year either. So I got more to see if I could do them. I love the look of like whites and yellows and pinks and purples all together. More poppies, a bunch of daisies. I just figured we'll try and whatever comes up, we're just gonna be thankful for. And whatever doesn't, only cost us 25 cents. And then I wanted to give something a shot just for like the Easter season. By the way, happy Easter. I've seen people do these little things called resurrection gardens. So I've got this vessel. I'll show it to you guys here in a little bit, but it's part of like my, my ironstone blue and white collection. Um, and I've seen people who just make like a little resurrection scene. So they've got like little crosses and then they use like a little terracotta pot. This is actually three of them, but they use this as the tomb and then they put a little stone that's rolled away from it. And I've just seen them, they look so cute. And so I thought that that would be a really fun craft to do with the girls. So yeah, I'm excited to get some fun spring projects done with these. Okay, so it's actually the next day after I went out and bought more pillows. Oh my gosh, you guys, the ones that I bought were even more pricey than the ones that I bought before. But I will say that I think I'm feeling a little bit better about them. Let me show you what I got. So I got antsy and I already put them on the couches, but I think the thing that I wasn't feeling the best about was these guys. I love especially these two, which things was I said I felt the most confident about that one, but I'm really sad that this one has a missing piece on it and I have not been able to find one that doesn't have it missing. But also you guys can see that we've got this like kind of Indian texture here and then we've got it in our rug and we've got it in that rug right there. And it was just starting to feel like a lot. Plus I had spoken about how I was looking for a floral block texture and I did not find that at Hobby Lobby or at TJ Maxx, but and I was like, oh my gosh, I never checked home goods. And to be honest with you guys, I never go into home goods. Y'all, their selection was humongous. So when I was there, I got this one, which I love because it looks like an old antique quilt and it's made out of like this really nice kind of like loose linen texture and it has these little tassels kind of like the other ones. It is pretty big, but like I said, I like that it's a different size than the others. These we have just fallen in love with. I think that we're gonna keep these. I really like the feeling of the inside. And then I think that these are my favorite ones out of all of them. And it's this block floral print exactly like what I was hoping for. And it is dark on one side and light on the other. So you can see this is what it looks like on the other side. And the only one I'm not 100% sure of is this one right here. And I actually love the print on it, but it is like a black, whereas the rest of these are blue. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think. These, you can see that all of the designs are made through the actual threads. And oh my gosh, these are feather filled and just such nice quality. Whereas these are a design that's just printed onto a fabric. You know, you can see that the design is not made by the actual thread. And so because of that, I told you guys, there was a possibility of me taking these back. I think I am going to take these three back and keep all of these, which is still an expensive week, but oh well. And then I have these pillows that I had before over here and the extra two I just put on our bed for a little bit of color in here. It might not be as beautiful and springy as we had originally hoped, but you guys, I am such a crab. Like I, I love seasonal design, but there's something about just like a classic blue or neutral color that will last us through the entire year that is so tempting, you know? And so I gotta go with what I'm going to like year round as opposed to what I'm going to love for springtime. Maybe if I find something cute at the thrift store, I can bring in like more of a spring pillow. But y'all, when these were like $17 a piece, 
it's just too expensive. It's too expensive to have $17 pillows just for one season. And then I've got to find like places to store them in the other times of the year. Y'all, can you hear how out of breath I am? Let me tell you something that is completely unrelated. I get it that I'm skinny, okay? I get it. But I am, but I have an enormous rib cage, all right? And that's fine. It's just, I've had it my whole life. <laughs> but with that, my kids, instead of growing out, they grow up into my ribs. And I'm not even kidding you. Every pregnancy I have, once I get past like four or five months, I am out of breath all the time. <laughs> and so don't be surprised if you hear me just out of breath for the next three months or so until this baby comes I am tired all the time, but you know what? We're still gonna have fun no matter how tired I am. So anyway, okay, here's the update on our pillows. I don't know if you guys even care about this stuff. Let me know which one is your favorite because I really have a hard time choosing right now, which I actually love. I love the fact that I can't tell which ones I like the best. Okay, so I just kind of pulled in and dropped this new rug that I picked up from Marketplace. You guys can see it's very neutral, which I like. I know that some of you guys are just gonna hate me for it, but let me know your opinions on how you feel like it's going to look with the room. I may wind up just like laying it out on top of this rug for now, just to get an idea of what it looks like. And then if I like it, then we'll keep it. And if not, then I'll move it under our bed in here. Okay, so without moving the rug and lifting the couches and everything that I would need Josh's help with, this is kind of giving us an idea of how this rug looks in this room. I think I'm gonna need Josh's opinion before I make like an ultimate decision. Obviously it'd be scooted over so that it lines up in the middle of this couch, but for now, you know, we're just getting an idea here. Okay, y'all, well, it is the next day and I just got done pulling out like a ton of my spring decorations and stuff. I put them on the table, but before I get started into that, I wanted to show you guys what came in the mail today. This is not sponsored, but I've heard such great things about these antique candle company. With all of my respiratory issues that I'm having right now, candles are really agitating me. And so, but I realized that I've not been like the most responsible with how I've bought my candles. So these are soy wax candles. So they burn clean and y'all, I opened them up and they all smell so good. I got Mama's Kitchen. I got Farmhouse Fig. And I love that they come in these little mason jars. It's so cute. Um, and then they sent me a couple of extra ones. This clean cotton. This one I wish I would have gotten in a big one. And then Citrus pom Pomegranate, which truthfully I have not opened this one yet to smell it. But they have all been awesome so far. So I thought I would let you guys know. I have a little affiliate link that I'm going to put down below. And if, oh my gosh, yes. If you guys are interested, y'all should use it because these are so good. Also, I brought up some of my mugs um, that are a little bit more springtime. I've got this one with the bird. It's kind of like a Japanese style. I got this one last year for a dollar, which I was really excited about. And so I'm just gonna wind up adding some of these into my mug collection here. I love to like bring the season into every corner of our house. Oh my gosh, and I forgot to tell y'all. The other day I was actually Marco Poloing with a friend of mine and I went to grab an onion to cut it. <laughs> And this happened with not just one of my onions, but two. So the girls are very excited about these and they wanna go plant them in the backyard. But I thought I would show them to you before they are gone and underground. Okay, and I officially brought out all of my blues and whites. I'm gonna go ahead and bring many of these into our hutch and then just kind of place other ones, little places around here. 
So in celebration of Easter, I thought I would read a little bit from Luke 23 through 24. Two others, criminals, were also led away to be executed with him. When they arrived at the place called the Skull, they crucified him there along with the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them because they do not know what they're doing. And they divided his clothes and cast lots. The people stood watching and even the leaders kept scoffing. He saved others, let him save himself. If this is God's Messiah, the chosen one, the soldiers also mocked him. They came offering him sour wine and said, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. An inscription was above him. This is the king of the Jews. Then one of the criminals hanging there began to yell insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other answered, rebuking him. Don't you even fear God since you are undergoing the same punishment? We are punished justly because we are getting back what we deserve for the things that we did. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three because the sun's light failed. The curtain of the sanctuary was split down the middle and Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands, I entrust my spirit. And saying this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what happened, he began to glorify God, saying, This man really was righteous. All the crowds that had gathered for the spectacle, when they saw what had taken place, went home, striking their chests. But all who knew him, including the women who had followed him to Galilee, stood at a distance, watching these things. There was a good and righteous man named Joseph, a member of the Sanhedrin, who had not agreed with their plan and their action. He was from Arimathea, a Judean town, and was looking forward to the kingdom of God. He approached Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Taking it down, he wrapped it in fine linen and placed it in a tomb cut into the rock where no one had ever been placed. It was a preparation day, and Sabbath was about to begin. The women who came with him from Galilee followed along and observed the tomb and how his body was placed. Then they returned and prepared spices and perfumes, and they rested on the Sabbath according to the commandment. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came to the tomb, bringing the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. They went in, but did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men stood by them in dazzling clothes. So the women were terrified and bowed to the ground. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? Asked the men. He is not here, but he has risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, Is it necessary the Son of Man be betrayed into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and rise on the third day? And they remembered his words. Returning from the tomb, they reported all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them were telling the apostles these things. But these words seemed like nonsense to them, and they did not believe the women. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. When he stopped to look in, he saw only the linen clothes. So he went away amazed at what had happened. It is. You want to tell me about what this all means? How Jesus died on the cross. That's right. And what is this? The dome. The tomb. The tomb. And then what is this right here? The, uh, the rock that the rock that goes um, on it. into the tomb. Yeah. When they found the tomb the next day, the rock had been rolled away, hadn't it? Uh huh. And this is like a little tree area here to the cross. Very beautiful. Great job, girls. Well, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. It feels so nice to be able to have all of this out. It's funny, though, because I'm like, yeah, let's get some color in here. Let's get some pinks and purples. And then literally my entire house is blue. <laughs> but that's okay. We have so many warm tones in this house and we desperately need some more cool tones. And this may be my favorite 
type of decor to do for our home. Maybe in the near future, I can get some more fresh flowers and whatnot to put around here and really amp this place up for an awesome spring tour that I can do for you guys soon. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day. If you're not already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. All right, everybody, and I'm coming at you again over here just to remind you that if you click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Kristen Hoffman, you can get 30% off of your first order and receive a free gift worth up to $60 if you sign up for Thrive Market today.